detain American citizens who could possibly commit a crime. Pima County Sheriff's Department's MIST unit, the mental health support team, takes every threat seriously. And now, armed with everything known about a subject, paranoid and delusional and not on our meds. A new Arizona law says the individual can be brought in voluntarily to a mental health crisis response center without a warrant or court order or visible evidence of danger. Are we preventing crime? I think we are. So anyone showing these warning signs can be involuntarily detained in a mental health facility. Meanwhile, if you have the warning signs of gang tattoos all over your body or you admit to being in a gang, that's not enough of a warning sign for you to be detained. Now, here's video of police throwing a female professor, college professor, to the ground and arresting her for illegally crossing the street. And here we show video exclusively shot by InfoWars showing busloads of illegal immigrants being given the VIP treatment for illegally crossing the border. So one of the biggest issues facing these unaccompanied illegal alien children is the dangerous journey ahead of them. They could be kidnapped, pulled into the sex trade, drug cartels, they could starve, dehydrate, catch any number of diseases, rape, murder. I mean, it's a dangerous journey. Here, Breitbart News reports on the body of an 11-year-old child that was found in a border town. These kids, some are reportedly as young as three months old, are being sent on this dangerous journey by themselves, by their parents. Now imagine if parents here in America were you know, showing the same kind of disregard for their children. Here we have a father in Hawaii who was sentenced to one year probation. He was given a $200 fine and he was also forced to take child parenting classes. His crime, he forced his eight year old son to walk nearly a mile home from school because the boy refused to tell his father why he had been disciplined earlier that day. Well, the father wanted to teach him a lesson. He said, walk it off and by the time you get home, you better have a better answer for me than that. Well, the judge ruled that that walking was just too severe of a punishment for this child. And the judge said, these are different times. It's dangerous for children to walk along the highway and there are predators out there. Walking was considered too severe of a punishment to inflict on a child. Now clearly, if the parents of these unaccompanied illegal minors were here in America, they'd be fined, they'd be arrested, they'd have their parental rights taken away, but instead, these children are given a bus ticket to any town USA and then they're going to serve as anchor babies for their families. And then when their families get here, rather than arrest them on the spot, they're going to be reunited promptly with their children. They're going to be given access to welfare, legal representation, and amnesty, which the Obama administration is reportedly planning to announce. It's going to issue executive action to give temporary amnesty and work permits to Dreamer's parents as early as the fall. Now, while the message the White House is sending to illegal aliens might be a little fuzzy, the message they're sending to the rest of America is quite clear. It's not hope and change for America, but for everybody else. Now you can find more reports like these at InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.tv. All right, last Thursday I spoke to Stu Harris. He is the vice president of the Border Patrol Union in the Rio Grande Valley area of El Paso. And he told me that he tried to contact the CDC. They said it's something that they're not really willing to look into. So right now we're going to call up the CDC and ask them some very important questions about the outbreaks going on at Lackland Air Force Base with the swine flu from McAllen, Texas, all the way to El Paso with scabies, MARSA, tuberculosis. Let's see what they have to say and let's find out when the CDC actually does step in to take care of something like this. Thanks for calling CDC, how may I help you? Yes, my name is Joe Biggs with InfoWars. Um, who can I speak with to report uh, a disease that's come across the border? All right, let me transfer you. Okay, thank you. See Info, a service of the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. If you would like to continue in English, press 1. <laughs> if you want to continue in Spanish, por favor presione 2. Over 1 million people in the U.S. have HIV, but almost 1 in 6 doesn't know it. Early diagnosis and treatment save We're lives. We're not going to know about the ones coming across the, the border. Get tested. You won't go do your job. Get... Good afternoon. Thank you for calling CDC. How can I help you? 
Yes, I'd like to speak to somebody about a disease that's come across our border. Who can I report that to? Okay, come across the border? I mean, in what way? What, what, what disease are you referring to? Oh, well, I have quite a few. I just need to be able to report it to somebody who takes those reports. One moment, please. Thank you for calling CDC Info. My name is Ashley. How may I help you today? Hey, how are you doing? Good, and yourself? Good. My name is Joe Biggs. I'm with InfoWars. Uh, last Thursday, I spoke to Stuart Harris. He is a the vice president of the Border Patrol Union in the Rio Grande Valley area of El Paso. And he said he tried to contact you and let you know about tuberculosis, scabies, chicken pox, things like that coming across our borders. Um, what... At what point does the CDC intervene and step in and do something about this? Because the CDC told him that it wasn't their job or, you know, nothing for them to worry about to go down there and check it out. Okay, so you're calling in regards to the unaccompanied persons that are uh, coming into the United States? Yes, the, the, about the 96,000 that have come in the past month, yes. And you want to know what the CDC is doing in regards to this information, is that correct? Yes, ma'am. Okay, sir. Well, I'm glad to answer this question for you. Have you been to our CDC.gov website in regards to this information? Uh, and I'm just calling you. Okay, sir. Well, um, what I'd like to do is go ahead and find information on the CDC website. Do you mind holding for one or two minutes, please? Sure. Thanks for holding. <laughs> Right now, a potential virus outbreak is imminent, and we're on hold. Thanks, CDC. Thank you for holding, sir. I greatly appreciate your patience. Hey, thank you. All right, so, so in regards to uh, questions about the unaccompanied alien children, the Department of Homeland Security declared a crisis in South Texas because so many children without parents or guardians are crossing the border. DHS estimates that 30,000 unaccompanied children will arrive in the Rio Grande Valley in 2014. In response to this influx of unaccompanied alien children, CDC's Emergency Operations Center has been activated. During this activation, the EOC will work closely with the Division of Global Migration and Quarantine. CDC staff will consult on health issues and the UAC's countries of origin, consult on shelter, water, sanitation, and hydrate hygiene and provide staff for public health support. Well, I, I um, went down to uh, I went down to Brownsville, Texas and uh, listened to Nancy Pelosi talk and she said this is most of this is all being ran out of El Paso. So then that takes me back to my what I said previously as the vice president of the Border Patrol Union who is over these guys said he has just contacted you guys and you said it is not an issue for you to worry about. So they might be on call, but they're not going down there and taking care of the issues. Right now, Border Patrol agents are testing positive for tuberculosis, scabies, and pox. Okay, sir. Well, I definitely understand your concerns. Um, at this time, if you have additional questions in regards to this topic, um, I would have to escalate this information, or you can go on to the CDC.gov website and um, ask your inquiry on the website, and they will respond by email. Uh, but this topic is out of scope for myself and the CDC info. Um, they do not provide any additional information other than that. Uh, well, who, who's going to go down to the border? When is this, this going to happen? Because right, we don't have right that now, information. Right now, right now, basic EMTs are supposedly screening these kids, which means they're getting past our borders, and they've made it to Lackland Air Force Base, which is in San Antonio, and there's a swine flu outbreak. Okay, sir. So would you like to go ahead and go on to the CDC.gov website and uh, submit your inquiry, or would you like me to do it? I, I would like to talk to somebody about it, yes. All right, so, so we're able to submit an inquiry where they'll respond by email, but there's no one here that could speak to you about this information. Why not? That, why not? That's your job. The it's CDC, not scope, it, sir. it's not what? Say it again. It is out of scope for the CDC info. You are speaking to CDC info, not CDC. Okay, well, can you transfer us? I cannot transfer you. I can submit an uh, escalation if you like, or you can go on the website yourself. Is there a number I can call to talk to somebody? 
No, sir. We do not have information in regards to that. So there's no way that I can report a an outbreak. I have to go to a website and hope that someone gets to it in time. If you'd like to report an outbreak, you can report that to the state or local health department. But it's not the CDC's problem. It's not something that the CDC regulates. So what is it that you guys do then? Since you don't go down to border situations where there's a crisis, where kids are coming over and bringing these uh, viruses like MRSA and things like that into our country, since that's not an issue that you guys take care of, what is it that the CDC actually does then? Well, the role of CDC Info is to provide general health information in regards to health risks in the world. We provide reliable, consistent, science-based health information on behalf of the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. Are you guys, provi CDC are you guys providing information to the Border Patrol then to help them? I've already stated that we are not. Okay, thank you. Thanks for calling CDC Info. We hope you have a good day. Yeah, I'll try. I'm starting to get a cough, CD though. Steve would like your feedback on your experience with CDC Info. Well, as you can see, the CDC doesn't really know what its job role is with this border situation whatsoever. So we're going to come up with a new name for the CDC. It's the Center of Disease, Confusion, and Disinformation. Make sure you tell your friends about that. Um, hopefully... I don't get this cough getting around too bad because I kind of feel a swine flu coming on because they can't do their job. They're too busy with the Obama administration inside working them like a puppet. So once again, thank you for watching InfoWars. Go to prisonplanet.tv. Your username and password can be shared with up to 11 people. Thanks for watching and tune in 7 p.m. Central weeknights. Once again, thank you for watching the InfoWars Nightly News. I'm Joe Biggs.